Hello, my name is Ismael Coelho, an undergraduate student at UW-Milwaukee, and I am excited to share with you how different decoking environments affect stainless steel. Many plastics, such as baby toys or PVC piping, are made up from ethylene, which is made in stainless steel tubes and at high temperatures. Think of a stainless steel pot or pan. Stainless steel, both in your kitchen and in these stainless steel tubes, are protected by a thin surface layer. During this high temperature process, the stainless steel tubes develop a layer of carbon or coke. Think of this as me burning my food in a stainless steel pot, which, if I don't clean, decreases the ability for me to be able to make my next meal. So then, what conditions most efficiently removes this carbon buildup from my pot. In my research, I look at how the conditions that are used to get rid of the coke affect the cleanliness and properties of two different types of stainless steel, one that is currently in use and another, and another that is thought to resist carbon buildup more. So, more less carbon buildup equals more ethylene production, which decreases the amount that it costs to make ethylene. As it turns out, the new alloy actually decreases in weight after being decoked, whereas the other increased. This could be due to complex changes that cannot be seen in a microscope. So then, more research is being conducted to try to understand these changes, to try to decrease the amount that it costs to make the goods that we use daily. Thank you for your time and any questions or for a more detailed discussion, feel free to email me at iecoello at uwm.edu. Thank you.